Hey everyone, it's Ashley with Southern Sewing Company. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you the supplies that you actually need to quilt your first quilt. I know how overwhelming it can be to search on the internet for quilting supplies, how to quilt your first quilt. Don't let the internet fool you. Quilting does not have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. I'm gonna make it easy. <laughs> I'm gonna share the four things that you need to start quilting right now. The first thing that you're gonna need is a sewing machine. It does not have to be a fancy sewing machine. Don't go out and spend two, three thousand dollars on a quilting machine. A regular sewing machine works just fine. This was the first machine that I ever learned to quilt on. I definitely do recommend finding one that has an attachment like this. I think I pulled it up to a twin on this machine without, I mean, it was a little tricky, but it's possible. I have since upgraded from my brother machine. This is the Baby Lock Chain, and this is my favorite machine, but the only function that it has is a straight stitch. Doesn't do any fancy stitches, no buttonholes, nothing. The second thing that you're gonna need is a foot to quilt with. So you have two options. You can either use a walking foot, which is good for straight line quilts. You can do dot to dot quilting, um, anything in a straight line. If you wanna do curves or any type of free motion, you're gonna need a free motion quilting foot. So this is the second thing you're, need, you're gonna need is one of these feet. The sewing machine that you use also needs to have the ability to drop the feed dogs if you want to free motion quilt. Mine is done over here, it's this knob, and you can see it goes to this setting where the feed dogs are dropped all the way down. And from there, I can use my free motion foot. Many machines don't come with a free motion foot, but this is what it looks like, or it will look something like this. You can do a Google search for the name of your sewing machine and then free motion quilting foot. Go for a reputable brand name website, such as sewingmachinesplus.com, um, sewingparts.com, something like that. Amazon usually has these generic quilting feet that don't always work, and they don't work for every mach machine. They might say that they do, but they don't. I had many, many trial and error experiences with Amazon sewing feet, so I stopped buying them. Spend the extra money on the machine parts website. So that's the second thing that you're gonna need is a way to quilt on your sewing machine. I use the free motion quilting foot a lot more, but when I was starting out a lot of quilts, I used my walking foot. Moving on. Next, you are going to need a pair of quilting gloves. Now I have seen some debate as to if you actually need quilting gloves or not. These are pretty nasty, they've seen better days. You do. I made a whole video that I will link in the description box below. It's a night and day difference. Spend the $10, get some quilting gloves. A fun little hack that I found is gardening gloves with the little grippy dots. $2 at the dollar store at Walmart are the exact same thing. If you wanna save a little bit of money, you could do it that way. These grippy dots are actually what is going to hold onto the fabric while you're sewing and keep things moving a lot better, especially if you're on a smaller machine like the first one that I showed you. You have a smaller area, it's a little harder to maneuver, so these, these gloves really make a difference, so definitely worth investing in. Number four is a way to baste your quilt, which is very important. You're kind of setting yourself up for success on how well you baste your quilt together or how well you prep your quilt before you quilt it. A lot of people like to use temporary adhesive. This is called basting spray. Um, you can get this at any craft store, Walmart, anything with a sewing section has basting spray, or you can purchase off Amazon. I will link this in the description box below. This has been my favorite brand. Or you can use basting pins. I actually use a combination of both of these. I will spray baste my quilt and then I will put these throughout the quilt just to make sure. Some people only use basting pins, so I will put a link to these too. These are curved two inch basting pins. I hope this helps a little bit. Quilting has been something that I've really enjoyed to learn and starting out, it was very overwhelming trying to figure out all of the little answers and all the, all the questions that I had that I had no one to answer them. So that's kind of the heart behind my sewing channel and my blog is because I wanna help people learn how to sew and realize that it's not as hard as you think it is. Tell me in the comment box, what has been your hardest thing to learn, hardest thing to figure out when quilting? And I will do my best to make videos in the future to try to work through other people's problems um, because I'm sure that I have experienced the same problem too or still am to this day. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.